All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Professional Fighters League Federal Fighter, Mr. Marlon Moraes. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm great, man. I feel good. Pleasure here talking with you. And that's great, man. Big fight, uh, big tournament. So let's go. It's a pleasure for me, too. Um, the last time I heard... Uh, okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, the last time I heard uh, some news about you, you announced your retirement from uh, MMA. It was a few months ago. You changed your mind in the meantime. May I ask you, what was the motivation between you know, uh, sorry, behind your return to MMA? Man, uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of things, you know, that was happening in the UFC, you know, and I didn't feel uh, at that point that um, they want me, you know, like, I feel like uh, they should prestigious me more, you know, and the way... Uh, I I I thought the the matchups, uh, the way the the matchups was lining against me, and like like I just said, felt like the matchups were lined up against me. You know, like I fought with the best and the best. I never asked to easy fights, but uh, at some point I need one comeback fight, and I never got one. So things went down down the hill. And at that point, you know, I, I didn't feel the motivation to, to keep doing. And um, moving to the PFL was a, a, a new start, you know. I just had a fight with the PFL, you know, and I'm very grateful for the change. And unfortunately, the result wasn't the one I want. But uh, until get caught, I was doing great on a fight. I felt great at this new weight. And I feel like I can compete with the best. And that's it, man. I'm happy. You know, I'm facing a new season right now. And I can't wait for April 1st. And on April 1st, you're scheduled to take on uh, Brendan Lafnen. He is the uh, current uh, PFL, uh, not current, sorry, the 2022 PFL featherweight champion. Since every year there is a different champion in uh, PFL, uh, what do you think about your next opponent? He's a great fighter, man. Good fighter, in my opinion, one of the best 145 pounders in the world. And I'm looking forward for uh, an opportunity to face him uh, on April 1st and show to the world that I belong out there. I belong with the best at 45 as well. May I ask you, where are you right now mentally? Considering that uh, you are currently on a five-fight uh, losing streak. Yeah, man. Uh, it's not easy to face that, to be coming from a, a losing streak, you know. But we have to be positive. You know, and you have to, to look as a whole, my career as a whole, and what I did for the sport and what I'm still doing and how I look in training, how I look against the best in the world. And and then and face it, you know, and that's what I have. And that's uh, that's what I think I belong. And now it's a matter of go out there and prove it. Prove it. I'm still out there and still can hang with the best. Have you made... Any adjustments in your training camp in preparation for this fight? Yes, man. Brenda's not an easy fight to fight, a guy to fight with. He's a complete fighter. I've seen his fights in the past. And I'm excited. I'm excited to to go out there and, and make the best movies and win this fight. What can fans expect from you um, in your fight on April 1st? They can expect a fight, you know, and I want to go out there and, and hang on him. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to try punch him in the face. And that's what the fans like to watch. The fans like to watch guys that try knock each other out. And that's what I'm going to what I'm going to do. Um, you were 
champion in the World Series of Fighting. So I know that World Series of or Fighting and uh, PFL share some key figures. In your experience, what's the difference between the two promotions, uh, you know, in addition to the, the name that changed? Well, it's pretty much the same, you know. A lot of people still there and they, 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 they are great, you know. They try to do everything better than the other promotions and they try to do uh, everything like the, the big ones and I don't see no difference, you know. Of course, that's a lot of things that can be fixed, but any company is like that, you know. We always, if you are satisfied, you can never be happy. You can never think you are good because when you think like that, you, you don't evolve. And I believe uh, step by step, they are going to reach and be one of the best uh, MMA promotions in the world. How do you feel at Featherweight? You spent most of your career at Bantaweight. You were the former uh, World Series of Fighting Bantaweight champion, but you moved up to Featherweight in your latest fight. How do you feel uh, right now? I feel great, you know. I feel as strong as anyone, as faster as anyone, if not faster. And it's it's getting there, mix things up, and win the fights. And that's what I need now. I need to get in there and win a fight. Um, do you feel like, like sharing with us a prediction for your fight? It's going to be the best fight of the night, 100%. I'm pretty sure it will. Marlon, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages before I let you go? Thank you so much for your opportunity. That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Best of luck with your upcoming fight and hopefully I'll hear again from you in the thank future. Thank you, thank you. Bye.